Hey guys, this is Sir Tap Tap, and we're going to review a bad game. This is Cash Guns Chaos, and let me show you the first impression the game gives you right when you try to open it from the menu. So Loud, fucking, shitty ass music. Yeah! Let's compare this with many games which are just dead silent on the menu. And Mortal Kombat, which you would think would be kind of loud, right? You know, it's death and stuff, and... No, it's pretty quiet. No music here. See, the music on the home screen thing is something that was sort of a cute idea for the PlayStation 3. Um, at best, it's done well subtly. Like Last of Us does here. Very quiet. Appropriate. You know, nothing fucking ear-bleedingly loud like this. PlayStation, work with me. Yeah. Let's stop that. Okay. So, this game is a 360 shooter. You know, it's a 360 movement. You know, dual stick shooter. Whatever you want to call it. Please don't crash. Please don't crash. Okay, it didn't crash. It crashed the first time I fucking played it. Uh, yeah, so I was incredibly disappointed. This was, I think, the second or third game I bought um, digital downloaded. Like, the first or second digital game I got. Uh, no, the first one was Blast Factor. Pretty good game. I give it about a 7, maybe 7.5. Pretty decent for a downloadable title. That game gave me a little bit of hope for uh, the downloadable section here. This game... This game... Let's just... Tell the folks about today's episode! Howdy, cowpokes! Get ready for a rootin' tootin' grab bag of guns and guts! Sign up for the Wild West Wipeout! So we've got themed stages, that's always good. Look at these advanced animations, look at that. Just look at that. Oh, we get the music again. And look at the impressive gore physics we got going on here. I'm not one to complain about, you know, excessive violence or any of that bullshit, but I mean... You gotta try, man. I mean... I, I just can't quite put into words how lame this shit is. So yeah, uh, oh yeah, he says radical and stuff too. Um, so yeah, you just run around, you shoot stuff, and they spit out the exact same pair of googly eyes when you kill them. You run around, you get money, you're scored based on your money. Eventually something should drop a power up for me and I'll be able to show those off. You get three hits and then you die. We're, we're gonna die, that's, that's gonna happen. Um, yeah, and the, um, the little um, tumbleweeds, yeah, they have eyes. There are eyes in there. There's also bones and meat, you know. Um, actually everything just explodes into the exact same fucking corpse, but... No. There's power-ups like this! Wow, we're getting double cash. That's really one of the better features in the game. It makes it almost a normal game. Oh look, we get armor! You get up to three points of armor. Um, I was hoping we'd get a upgrade, a gun upgrade. Uh, the, uh, the announcing is god-awful. Uh, note the advanced blood textures here. We've got like three different textures going on here. It's pretty impressive. No, we've got four different textures. Okay, they're, they're, they set their game up, man. And yeah, it just it just goes on like this. It's just completely mind-numbing bullshit. We should eventually see some new enemies. Remember that one guy we saw that shot at us? There are more of those. I'm not sure when the hell they were, they'll spawn. Yeah, there's a mini-map, so we can actually see this gun. And now it's... I don't even know what this is supposed to be. It's like a sonar gun. Oh, fleet... This is very good, because it makes your speed fucking tolerable. You move so pathetically slowly at the normal speed. Yeah, and they say stuff like rich bitch. That that, that happened. Yeah, you're basically wanna murder gonna wanna murder the announcer before you're done. The guns that you get aren't terrible, they're just incredibly unimaginative and generally not that necessary. Oh, we found a second guy with a gun. Aw, oh, he ran out of bullets. Grenade launcher, which is 
basically the rocket launcher, but with limited range. I have no idea why this gun exists. Like, seriously, it's just... It's just the rocket launcher with an arc shot instead of a uh, straight shot. And it's got very limited range. It's pretty much all you need because, you know, not many enemies, you know, they're going to get up close to you anyway. And yet you might have noticed, this is incredibly mind-numbingly boring. Oh, and we died. This is really the, all there is to the game. There are more levels, but we're probably not going to see them. This is really all there is. This is the best gun in the game. Um, it's not saying much. But it's like the only gun that's actually like mildly fun to use. And actually practical. The rocket launcher, grenade launcher, not really that practical. This thing, since you can conserve how many shoots, how many shots you get, it's almost decent. An annoying thing about the pickups, they expire really quickly. That gun, it's going to be gone by the time we get over to it. When you see a pickup spawn, you have to run right the fuck over to it immediately or you're going to lose it. Um... Yeah, you basically have to wish that you're on screen because, you know, otherwise you have to be watching the minimap at all times, and that's just dumb and annoying. Did I mention how ridiculous it is that the fucking tumbleweeds explode into gore and organs? Because that, I think that bears repeating. Also note the first level is still not over, we still have not fought a boss, we've still fought exactly three kinds of enemies. Three kinds of enemies. Also, everything spawns from these stupid, obvious, like, enemy spawning shoots. Okay, I think we're done with this wave. Oh, no, we're not. Never mind. Sometimes they just sort of randomly, you know, slow down, but they're not quite over. There's... the pacing is just so fucked up and just... It's just random, really. An interesting thing about the rocket launcher, it makes you want to not shoot because you get relatively few shots. And, like, 90% of them are going to be wasted if you shoot lone single enemies. And about half the time in the game, that's all you're going to be getting is lone single enemies. Like this. And why? Why are we not advancing? Why are there not bosses? And these are questions that you wonder throughout pretty much the entire game. Because it is incredibly slow. And you will probably quit before you leave the first area. So, why is this game absolutely the the worst, the one game that I picked to do for the review a bad game a month, like review a bad game day thingy. Um, this game, like I said, one of the first few um, downloadable titles available on PlayStation 3, on the PlayStation Network, uh, one of the first ones I downloaded, and this one made me question whether that was going anywhere, whether the whole idea of digital downloads on a console was going anywhere. Now at this point I had Steam, um, I believe I had Flow. I'm, I'm actually I'm not sure about that, but I mean, there had been at least one good game in Blast Factor. Not amazing, but it was a good game. And so then I get this game, and I'm like, oh, maybe, maybe the digital future is not that bright. I mean, this game was only five dollars, and I regret every five of those dollars. Because, holy shit, this game is terrible. This level is still not over! This level will never end! In theory, this level ends, but in practice, no. You're just, you're just here forever. We will die, and it will still be this one level. Because, this game... This game hates you. I don't even know what these guys are. Are these guys prospectors, or what the fuck? But they never stop coming, and... They never stop being incredibly boring and pathetic. This game never stops being incredibly boring and pathetic. And this game, I was like, if this is our digital future, I don't want any part of it. And that makes me sad, because looking back, the games of that time on PlayStation Network, they weren't absolutely terrible, but until there was flow, and there was really nothing that made me be like, oh wow, this is a very important part of, you know, the PlayStation 3 library. And then after Flow, there was a pretty big glut of... Um, or not glut. You know, not many games worth it. Like... Ugh. 
I can't even remember the, like the second game that made me like, wow. It was not Flower. It was long before before Flower. Um, but Flower is definitely one of the better ones. And this level is still not over. I honestly forget when the fuck the levels o end. I I remember a second level. Th there's a second level, right? I don't I don't I don't know anymore. This game is making me question reality. I mean, is is there really justice? I mean, when we think about it, this game exists. Can justice and this game really exist in the same space? These are the questions that'll keep you up at night. It just it it just never stops. Oh. What? I don't know what's happening. Boss time? Wild West Wipeout, we're done! We finished- Oh my god. Oh my god, you guys. We're- We- Oh my god. We survived a whole round of this incredibly shitty game. Look at that dance! Look at those polygons! You best skeedaddle. Let's take a look at the amazing second area of the game, and oh my god, it's the same fucking shit again.